How's it going YouTube? Sick Eric back again with another video and today we're going to be doing a spec comparison between the OnePlus 8T and the Google Pixel 4a 5G. Both of these are 5G capable devices. Really really nice. Uh, you can't go wrong with either one of these. Uh, seriously really really good devices of 2020. Very different but they both perform about the same. So let's go ahead and jump down into it. As far as display goes over here on the OnePlus you do get a 6.55 inch fluid AMOLED display with a resolution of 1080 by 2400. 402 pixels per inch. It is covered in Corning Gorilla Glass 5 and you do have an always on display as well with your in display fingerprint sensor. Over here on the Google Pixel you get a 6.2 inch OLED display 1080 by 2340 and it does have 413 pixels per inch. Corning Gorilla Glass 3 is covering it and you do have an always on over here as well. So really, really nice. The dynamic range on both of these are great. Uh, the Pixel probably takes the cake as far as colors go and blacks, but the OnePlus definitely wins because it does have 120 hertz refresh rate. Right over here on the Pixel, you only get a 60 hertz refresh rate and the OnePlus does have that higher touch response so it does feel more instantaneous when you're scrolling and tapping things on here but as far as panel goes they're probably really really close uh, the pixel like i said does have better colors than the uh, oneplus but not by a lot they're both really really nice you know regardless which one you pick the oneplus definitely does feel a lot more snappier so the oneplus is 160 uh, 0.7 millimeters tall, 74.1 wide, and 8.4 thick, and it does weigh about 6.63 ounces <laughs> on the OnePlus. Well, over here on the Pixel, 153.9 tall, 74 wide, and 8.2 millimeters thin on the Google Pixel. It does weigh 5.93 ounces, so it's a little bit lighter. Uh, Gorilla Glass 3 over here on the Pixel and it does have a plastic body, more of a uniform polycarbonate body, so it does feel lighter. While the OnePlus has a more premium build with that glass back, metal frames, uh, the um, Pixel has plastic buttons, the OnePlus has metal buttons, and the OnePlus also has that alert slider. So really, really nice and convenient to uh, put your phone on vibrate or silent or whatnot. Uh, platform goes, both of these are running Android 11 right out of the box. Uh, the OnePlus does have the Snapdragon 865 processor, 12 gigabytes of RAM, and 256 gigabytes of internal storage on the OnePlus 8T. While over here on the Pixel, you get the Snapdragon 765G, um, 6 gigabytes of RAM, and 128 gigabytes of internal storage. None of these do offer micro SD card support, sadly, uh, but the OnePlus takes the win with that higher RAM and larger storage capacity over here. Uh, both of these are not slow phones by any means. They are really, really fast and snappy. Uh, the Google Pixel still feels nice and snappy due to that Google optimization. Really, really fast. The OnePlus takes the cake with that 12 gigabytes of RAM though. Really, really fast on either one of these. And that, you know, coupled with the uh, higher refresh rate, the OnePlus definitely feels a lot faster and snappier than the Google Pixel. As far as GPUs go, you get the Adreno 650 on the OnePlus, while over here on the Pixel, you get the Adreno 620 on the uh, Google Pixel. Uh, that just determines, you know, if you're gaming a lot, you get more uh, better GPU over here on the OnePlus than you would on the Pixel. And of course, the OnePlus having that flagship processor would play higher quality games at much higher refresh rate. Google Pixel would still handle games just fine. Uh, I don't play a lot of games, but the uh, 765 chipset is still a very capable chipset. 5G on both of these, if I haven't mentioned that before. Uh, UFS 2.1 storage on the Pixel, while over here on the OnePlus, you get UFS 3.1 storage. So storage while transferring files and pictures and things like that are going to be a lot quicker on the OnePlus, but not by a lot. It's just like a, a certain percentage of how fast they are. They're both really good. The OnePlus is definitely going to be a little bit quicker. Go. 
uh, you do get more sensors on the OnePlus, but essentially you're still using just the two. Uh, over here, you get a 48 megapixel main sensor with an aperture of f1.7. You get a 16 megapixel ultra wide aperture of f2.2. You get a five megapixel macro 2.4 and a two megapixel depth sensor at 2.4. Front facing camera is 16 megapixels with an aperture of f2.4. You can record up to 4K 60 on the rear and 1080p 30 on the front facing camera. Going on over to the Google Pixel, you get two sensors in the back, uh, main sensor of 12.2 megapixels, aperture of f1.7, uh, 16 megapixel ultra wide with an aperture of f2.2. Front facing camera is an eight megapixel with an aperture of f2.0, 1080p, 30 frames per second on the front, up to 4K 60 on the rear. Uh, so they both perform really, really nice. Of course, the Pixel is going to take better pictures in low light due to that aperture on the rear. But OnePlus isn't that far behind when it comes down to photos. If I have some photos, you'll be seeing those flash on your screen right now. They both take really, really good shots. Uh, the Pixel probably outperforms a little bit at night, especially that front facing camera. The OnePlus uh, definitely struggles a little bit more with nighttime footage on selfie mode, but both really, really nice. I would like to see 1080 or 4K on the front rather than 1080p on both of these, but really not that big of a deal. If I'm going to record a video or something, I'll probably use the Pixel for front facing camera over the OnePlus just because that Google processing is a lot better on the Google Pixel. And uh, OnePlus definitely not that far behind both really good for social media or whatnot on either one of these you can't go wrong as far as audio goes they both offer dual speakers with the bottom firing speaker and then the uh, earpiece as the secondary speaker oneplus does have dolby atmos so audio does sound a lot louder and more spatial on here and it sort of fills the room a lot more better than the uh, google pixel but the google pixel does still sound really good. It's not, does not get as loud as my other devices. So think, you know, con consider that when you're getting the Google Pixel. Stereo speakers are good, but they're not that loud. OnePlus, they will definitely blow you away. Pixel does offer a headphone jack though. So very, very rare to see these on here. Audio on here is kind of low and not that great, but it's still a nice little backup, you know, in case your Bluetooth dies. OnePlus does have an in-display fingerprint sensor and it is a lot faster than before and it is a lot faster than your Samsung in-display fingerprint sensors. While over here on the Pixel, you do get that capacitive uh, sensor on the back. Really, really nice and reliable and your finger falls right on there. So really fast on either one of these. They just offer two different types of security. The OnePlus takes the lead with that facial recognition though. The Pixel does not have face ID or facial recognition. You just have to rely on that fingerprint and of course your password. Over here on the OnePlus, you get your fingerprint, password, and face recognition. Uh, USB type C on the bottom, of course. Uh, battery goes. Uh, the OnePlus does have a 4,500 milliamp hour battery with 65 watt warp charge on the OnePlus. No wireless charging, unfortunately. The Pixel has a 3885 milliamp hour battery and I believe it's 18 watt charging. So the OnePlus takes the cake with that faster charging and larger battery. Either one of these do great as far as getting you through an entire day. Uh, the Pixel of course lasts just as long as the OnePlus due to that lower refresh rate, smaller display. But both of these are really, really great in battery. You cannot go wrong with either one of these but the OnePlus definitely takes the lead with that higher uh, charging 65 watt warp charge than the Google Pixel. But yeah, really, really great on battery. No issues whatsoever on either one of these. As far as colors go, the OnePlus does have this frosted silver and a, uh, a blue green color. While on the Pixel, you just get the uh, one color and it is just black. I have a skin on here, that black color on the Google Pixel, that's the only color you get. Really, really nice. If you like really, really excellent cameras, the Google Pixel takes the best pictures, of course, uh, but the OnePlus isn't that far behind. Software-wise, they're both pretty similar. Uh, OnePlus has changed their software up a little bit, while 
Pixel is a lot more stock Android. OnePlus is borrowing from Samsung as far as things go, but OnePlus is really, really snappy with Oxygen OS. And of course, uh, the Google Pixel is very nice and clean with that Google uh, software. They both have uh, gestures as far as navigation goes. Uh, really, really nice on both of these. You can't go wrong. Uh, fingerprint sensors on here are great on either one. It just depends on your taste. You know, when the phone is on a desk, you're able to unlock the OnePlus, the Pixel. You got to pick it up and unlock it. OnePlus has that facial recognition. Pixel does not. As far as price goes, you get $750 over here on the OnePlus, while the Pixel is $400, $399. Like I said, these are uh, T-Mobile variant devices. Build quality, the OnePlus takes the cake here. Really, really excellent build. It's back and the Pixel does feel great in the hand. It feels really smooth on the back. It is a lot lighter, but it does have a plastic uniform body and plastic buttons if that bothers you. But the price is appropriate for that plastic body. Samsung, we're talking to you. Really, really excellent devices. You can't go wrong with either or. Uh, display goes, uh, the OnePlus takes the cake with that 120 hertz refresh rate. Colors on the Pixel are definitely a little bit better, but not by a lot. So really, really nice. Hope you enjoyed this video comparing the OnePlus 8T and the Google Pixel 4a 5G. Two excellent devices, two of my favorite ones of 2020, including the Samsung S20 FE, which I'm using to record this video on. So that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Thumbs down if you didn't, that is quite all right. Subscribe, hit that little notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.